It's 636. We've heard so much about cicadas this year, but you might be surprised to hear we actually have those bugs right here in Central Texas every year. If you find enough of them together, they can be just as loud as a lawnmower or jackhammer. And these creepy crawlers are munching on your trees right now. It's the summer of the cicadas, and that's pretty much heaven for a bug expert. It's an unmistakable sound. After living underground, cicadas are now perched in trees above ground looking for love. For Dr. Laura Weiser Erlinson, it's music to her ears. Summer of the cicada, yes. This A&M Central Texas biology professor who chairs the Department of Science and Math is an entomologist, a bug expert. She even has butterflies on her shirt. Great big beetle. You might even beetle. call her the bug lady. Maybe this one I found in Costa Rica. It was already dead. But she didn't always Crickets. bug out. I was afraid of insects when I was a kid. Then college came along. I had a professor that basically said, hey, it's easy, it's interesting, let's do it. And I said, oh, God, no. But that professor helped her turn a page at a sort of metamorphosis set in. And, and I realized just how fascinating they are. Their behaviors, their evolution. And she got me hooked. Sparking a fascination about all things creepy crawly. She has a whole collection for teaching, like these wasps you know, that'll give you a nightmare. They're I mean, huge. They're yes. The, these two actually students have collected for me, and they're they're basically in pristine condition. Those I mean, aren't the I'm, only predators. It's, uh, praying mantids. Along with the unanimously the, disgusting um, live cockroaches. She also has a I private collection. Are, I do not let the students touch those. One of the standout specimens, yeah. a uh, walking oh, stick. Let's move this one over because this one's actually pretty cool. Eye-catching scarab beetles, highly revered in ancient mm -hmm. Egypt. Yeah, the Egyptians worship. But right now, it's all about those rowdy cicadas. <laughs> yeah, the cicadas were so loud. Dr. E, as her students call her, says the blaring sound they make comes from their temple membrane. As these muscles pull in, it's going to pop and it's going to vibrate the tympanum and the temple there. You think that little guy'd get a headache? <laughs> you would think, but they're pretty resilient. The more popular so, cicadas, um, known as Brood X, this summer only appear amazing. every 17 years. It's the amount of time that the juvenile or the larva takes to actually develop underground. But the cicadas here in Central Texas come out every single year during the dog days of summer. That's why they call them dog day cicadas. Um, and those you'll see all over the place. Like stuck to this fence. They shed off their outer layer and sprout wings as they mature into adulthood. And their main purpose is to find a mate, lay eggs, and then die. A bug's life coming to an end. Most people's take on it? Icky and gross. Not to birds, they eat cicadas. Dr. E's overall lesson, these annoying and ugly bugs each play a vital role in the food chain. Absolutely fascinating. And they're totally harmless. She would prefer that you keep that in mind before you think about squashing one. Ew. No bugs were harmed in the making of that story, by the way. And cicadas live for about five to six weeks after they crawl up from underground. So there should still be plenty of them out there, Josh, when the kids and the students, I should say, head back to the lab at AM Central Texas on August 23rd.